Hi folks, Dennis Ryder here, Member of Parliament uh, with the Democratic Alliance. People are asking how far gone Johannesburg really is. I'm driving on the R82, uh, just near Kibler Park, um, and you can have a look and see what's happened to the rule of law in Johannesburg. Just about every single light pole lying on its side as it's been stripped of uh, the copper wiring inside. Of course, they uh, they won't take the pole itself. That's uh, far too much like uh, like hard work. But uh, these can probably be directly attributed to the uh, increased land invasions that have happened just to the south here in uh, Aikenhof. Um, but yeah, people desperate uh, for income and absolutely no consequences for their actions. So they can break and steal with impunity. No thought for the uh, other citizens of Johannesburg and Gauteng, but uh, just a short-sighted view, taking the little strips of uh, copper wire out of these poles and uh, using them for their own purposes. Now, of course, we get to what used to be a traffic light intersection, uh, Gautrans, Johannesburg Roads, not sure who it is, but they've just given up and uh, no longer replacing the robots. You'll see the robots are lying on the ground over there. No longer replacing them. They've given up and just put up uh, Stop Street. As we're a little further up on the R82, we're getting closer to uh, Southgate towards uh, the Mondial section. And you can see all of the crash barriers there, all removed, every stitch of metal that they can find being stripped out. Uh, and still more and more and more light poles, street light poles lying broken, cut down on the side of the road.